took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're going yet? Not yet, no. Take your time. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Oh, a bird! You're right. Is it the one from your dream? Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So, a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there was a bird. All right. Why not? There! It was looking at another bird. You're right. So, what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Everything's so different from Guyenne. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot in Guyenne. Not in the same way. I trust you. Hey, up there! Lunch is ready! Thanks! Just a few more tiles. Hello there. Hello. Hello! You ready? Just about. I don't want to miss the ceremony. To Lacuna! This is all nice, but wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? Yes. You have to be a count to take that kind of risk. This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can't close. Can we go back to searching the birds, Amicia? What's going on here? Nothing is dead. Say, that's a large family of birds. Let's find another one. Imagine if it led to a real nest. No, it's something meaningful. It has to be. I'm sure it is. Back to hunting birds. Not too tired, Hugo. No, I'm good. We've walked a lot. This island is quite big. It's big, but it's beautiful. I like it. Look, another bird. It's looking at those columns. That's exciting. Let's go and see. This is it. What do you see? I see columns. It's beautiful. Nice find. Some sort of uh, antique theater? Yes. It looks important. <sighs> oh. 
Now let's see. the way. The island. It's a map of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantium? There is a lot of those around here. That's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the Order! Yes! I see it! What Order? A very ancient Order of Alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the Order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas... That one... Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you, I owe you. Come on then. Yes, we are gonna climb. The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Come on, up. All right. Oh. Look, there's a house in the teeth. Yes. Some kind yeah. of uh, temple? Sanctuary. That's what I've heard it called. And now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird. An ancient order of alchemists. The little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby. It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but... This is real, Sophia. In Guienne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. It's getting hot. Oh. Look! We're almost at the sanctuary! Do you know what almost means? Come on. It will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it.
So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree. Or the pond. I'd prefer an elixir. Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. Oh, spring water! How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. <gasps> It looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. <laughs> for the Daroons, all right, Hugo! All right, all right. I yield. You soaked me to death. I win! <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. He shot me in the eyes, all right? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about a family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. False alarm again. Should have known. Here's the door. Let's be quick. <laughs> that prism is magic. It is. But we're not there yet. Get to work. make things a bit easier.
Watch your stunts, kid. I want to go. Yes, let's keep moving. We're here. We made it. You all right, Hugo? I'm sorry. It was way too risky. I'm better now. Thank you, Sophia. It's nothing. It's just my worst nightmare. We should walk a bit on solid ground. That noise. I better go and check. I can't see anyone. Anyway, the child needs peace, not weapons. Wait. What? There's something over there. I'm going. They're getting closer to us. Hmm. 
Nothing. Fine. Better see what that noise was. making that noise. Two. Let me check. Salam. Doing it, my friends. We're getting there. Yes. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny, but good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. Everyone. I feel it too. Well, I'm trusting you both. Gather round, please. It's the count and the countess. It seems we're right on time. We're still waiting for a few latecomers. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Late comers, I'd say. Friends and children, 
Today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of Ember still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the Phoenix. The Phoenix. To his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. And do what they say. They mustn't recognize us. Yes. Come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Embers. Take your place at our sides. Look, the drawing. It's the carrier of the macula. That fresco was in Mother's laboratory at home. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with cold black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope. And now, two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You. Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh. The drowning in the absence of light. The uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive, at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. 
It's oh. those frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't know the man killer? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. <laughs> I'm cold. It's over. We'll soon warm up. <coughs> it was horrible. But you did it. I thought I was drowning. Calm down. You're fine now. No, I'm scared. The child is gone. <gasps> Just walk. I'm with you. He's dying in his mother's arms. Evil has won. Centuries pass. Famine, war, and plague descend on us. He dreams of a fiery reborn. You are back. I'm cold. Is gone. I'm scared. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> the phoenix. It's the phoenix. Shh. Yes, I see it. It's real. Even if it is the order, it's all true. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. 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 They'll see we're gone. Not for now. We all look the same. what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And the rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. Water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic joints. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come. 
I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Room it is. It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. He was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. this game too. Come, we've barely started. Wow! That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looked strong. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there. He drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. This is crazy. I feel like... like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look. Huh. That bird again. Its shape. It's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no. That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come. Let's finish this first, right? Hmm. I'll be 
be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... No, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. This is all useless. Please, I need something. Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. What were they making in these things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Hugo, did you find something? This table. They put him on it. Wait, I'm coming. That. Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. Hey, something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him, too. Hey, I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Uh, nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You... That for done? No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? Oh. What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a cure? No, but they took other notes. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast.
water seal our determination to stand by your side day and night I feel your sickness I share your pain we will protect you we will care for you I am the father I am waiting for you I am the mother I am waiting for you join us whenever you feel ready we are Spend a full week at sea with my crew. Changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe. But your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that alia? And your ancestor? It's going to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. Nothing happened. We're good. Especially you. You're the sneakiest child I've ever met. Look, if there's no fort in your dream, then we'll look for the round tower, all right? All right. And maybe they decorated the island even more. So, oh, that was... I don't even know what that was. Me neither. But we have a lead. Pragmatic. I like that. Why not check that map again, unless you know where that tower is? <sighs> Why not? That was quite something. But I still can't believe you went to a convent. My mother came from a wealthy family. They weren't exactly pleased when they found out my father was a smuggler, so off to a convent I went to cleanse me of his sins. It wasn't very effective, it seems. 
I'd rather be a sinner and be free. So, I escaped, I joined my father, and... We must be careful. If my dream was wrong, more things can be wrong. Hey, look around you. It's fine. We're centuries later, right? She's right. We're with you. On this brighter day, we celebrate the child of embers with our life, our joy, and the unity of the bond we all share with the mother. May the light of our souls wake the child from his deep slumber. May it lead him to our countess, brightest among the brightest souls. Here we are. Looks like the real festivities have begun. Let's pass through here. It'll be nice. They still look happy. Blessed be the child! Blessed be the mother! Blessed be the days when he'll come back! Look at them. They sure know how to celebrate. What if they knew the truth? They don't need it. And we don't need them to know. I wish I was like them. You just need to bounce back from this. How do you do that? You... think of something else. Of it, at least. Everything is so old here. How can there be anything that helps? There will be. The past never dies, Hugo. Visions of it traveled through your dream, didn't they? And that sanctuary still had a lot to tell. Mm. We'll find something in that chapel. Hugo, wait. Would my knight conquer that tower for me? What? I want to see how you charge it. Claim it for me. Go. Yes. Stay in sight. Yes. Thanks. It's a bit hard for him. I... I wanted to ask you. Are you sure about all this? It seems like a heavy burden for him. I know. And it is. That's why we're doing this. Listen, we may not know each other well, but... You're chasing ghosts. Ghosts that scare him. We've gone through hell, Sophia. You can't imagine. I can't. The question is, does he need more? We have nothing else. I believe you. Fine. Be nice to old people. You're not that old. So is that tower ours yet? No, the door is locked. <sighs> locked from the other side. Time to take a little look around? Here. So it looks like they're conquering after all. I didn't tell you, but Hugo is king, and I'm captain of his guard. So you will rule this thing. But you can be my smuggler. A royal contract. I'm honored. Don't forget we still have a real fort to conquer. Ah, oh, right. The fort and its chapel. Follow me.
Mind the drop. All right. It is. Let's hope this fort isn't as crowded as their sanctuary. It surely doesn't sound as appealing. I don't think the Count and Countess dug into the Order's writings. They must have considered the place too sacred. There is only one way to find out. Yes. Let's move. What's going on? There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. He's sad. All this because of a dream. When's the last time a dream meant everything to you? The day I stopped being a child. Hey, that's a pretty flower. You want it? Of course. Hmm, there was a time when I was the one getting the flower. Time passes, sweetheart. They grow up. All right, let's get to this fort, quickly. We could stay here. I like it here. Staying here won't help you, Hugo. We must move. Plus, there's a storm coming. So, Hugo, you ever offered a flower to a lady your age? No. I prefer feathers now. Ah, moving on to something more exciting. Flowers, feathers... Feathers are better. Why? Because they make you fly. I get it. Well, don't fly away right now, please. Hmm, small problem here. How are we going to cross? Let's see down there. Worm eaten. Don't get so close. That bridge looks about to collapse. Hmm. Maybe with my crossbow? Yes! Is it going to work? Hopefully. <laughs> well, it worked. Golden staircase up. Will it hold? Just don't jump on it. Come on. Up. Wow, look at that view. Beautiful. You're missing the sea already. Not yet, but it will come back. But you're not leaving now, right? No, not until I've repaid my debt to your sister. What? She didn't tell you. She saved my life. Oh, well, I'm glad she did. Well, me too. Very, very old. Yes. Who knows what story lies behind it? What happens to people when their boat breaks like this? Some survive. 
Some are taken by the sea and sleep forever, cradled by the waves. Nice way to put it. Then they become crab food. Ew! Thank you, Sophia. Anytime. It's big. It's scary. That building on the left. It looks like our chapel, no? I think. Yes. Perfect. Let's keep following the coastline. Amicia, there's blood. Oh, no. What? He's chained up. We have to go back. No, we need to get to that chapel. Amicia, we've got a dead man here. We'll be careful. We need to be. Let's go. Up we go. All right. Understood. The others. Let me go, pig! Damn it. Who are they? I'd say the slavers by the looks of it. The slavers? They capture people and sell them like animals. Really? But that won't stop us. But they're prepared to kill. Let's not waste time. Damn. Uh, I hope Milo's right. We can't lose any more men. It's worth it. We've trusted him this far.
Climb up. Mind the drop. Yes. So, we've got... 
got a rope here. I need your help, Sophia. My pleasure. Oh, it's a chandelier, I think. It looks heavy. The chain still looks pretty solid. We should move. Agreed. The fort's ahead. Good. Why didn't my dream show the slavers to me? Dreams rarely show the whole truth. But it lied to me. To bring me here. We were supposed to be healed. What dreams don't give, we can take, Hugo. It's exhausting, but it's life. It's all right. It will be over soon. To hell this shit. You got a problem, Diaz? Well, these things come out of the ground to eat us. Ah, oh, slaves escape. And now what? You're wasting what remains for that mad countess? Wrong! We're not working for her anymore. It's all in a fresco. The rats announced the coming of the child. And you see how hungry they are. So it's simple. We please them. We please the child. We buy ourselves a seat next to his throne. Then the Count will bow before us. And the world will follow. So tell me, how many of us will feed the rats before we see your child? You have so little faith. <laughs> but you keep backing me! Anyone else? Fine. Let's begin. The blood will show the child the way to the chapel. Dear Diaz here. Has the honor of starting it. Goddamn maniacs. We have to help them. It's already too late. We'll stop them. controls rats and gets them to eat people. You to run away. And I... I didn't want you to. It was wrong, yes. But I thought this place would give us a chance. I thought you wouldn't have to see us like this. Just go talk to him. I need some time. I understand. Hugo... I know you're upset, and I know you wanted to help, but killing people, even bad people... They're just like the Inquisition, like Rodin. They do whatever they want to other people. And sometimes they force us to act, yes. But just let me take that decision, please. All this, it's not fair. I know. 
It will stop once we find out how to heal you. Come here. I think we owe Sophia an apology. Sophia? I'm sorry. I am too. Yeah. Well, let's just walk. Are you... all right? Letting it sink in. Yes. Rats. Yes. <gasps> no! Milo's work. He said... Blood would show the child the way to the chapel. So there's something there. I'm scared of what it is. <laughs> 